I'm Rich Gordon. I'm creative director for Kicks to the Pitch. We're a soccer media company that covers the intersection of lifestyle and soccer. Um, the reason why I knew about soccer started with um, my family. Uh, in Jamaica, soccer is the first sport, and it's called football in, in, uh, in Jamaica. So uh, I got into soccer through that, and then my, I remember my dad signed me up for my first organized league when I was about eight. I started playing and growing, and soccer became a love of mine. But really, yeah, it's connected directly to where my family is from. I was watching the, the Nike soccer commercials on TV. Um, the, the uh, cage commercials, the scorpion, you know, these different things that was really like, I was consuming it, but I think it was the, I was the right age too. I was about 15 then. And coincidentally, Jamaica made their first World Cup uh, in 1998. Uh, that, you know, so I think it's just a, a, a firestorm where the, the meanings of the world came together. And I was so hyper in on the World Cup being on TV during 1998 and did my country, my family's country, made it to the World Cup. And so that's where it all began for me with the Jamaican national team. Honestly, if I, if I was gonna say, oh, I knew the team, the people on the team, I didn't know anybody on the national team at that time. I didn't know anyone's name. I just knew Jamaica was there. And when I look back at that team photo, one of the team photos from the 98 World Cup and the team's standing there and they all have the kits on, I'm like, yeah, this was a good moment in time. <laughs> my dad traveled to Jamaica, obviously we went there a lot, but he went two years later in 2000 and um, I said get me the kit. They were still wearing it so they wore the kit for a while after the 98 World Cup and um, in Gold Cups and other competitions and I said if you can if I want anything please bring me home the Jamaica kit and he came back and he brought it and I had it and I've had it ever since. I really start to discover and go yo what is this what is Premier League? What is the Italian league? You know, from the players that played at 98 World Cup. And I remember that France was playing and Terry Henry came on as a substitute and he scored his celebration. He ran over to the corner flag and then he stood there and he held it. And he was just like, yo, I'm the boss. And then I was like, who is this guy? Like what? Like this guy's the swag, the fire, you know, he was just, and of course, France went on to win the World Cup, right? He went to Arsenal, and that was it. Once I heard he was at Arsenal, I was an Arsenal fan. And all of that happened, 1998, honestly, that year was the catalyst, not only for me wanting soccer kits and those things, but also just for me being a soccer fan. Here in the States, you know, we put the names of the teams on the fronts of the jerseys. So people were like, who's 02? What team is that? You know, and uh, I was like, oh gosh, let me, let me school you a little bit. Let me tell you who this team is, right? But uh, I look back at it now, that jersey's hanging in my closet with the rest of my jerseys, you know, in my collection and like I take care of them, you know. But at that time, I, wasn't, I wouldn't call myself a kit collector at that time. I just knew I wanted to have the kit of the team that I was supporting. Now I work in the world of soccer and we're merging soccer and fashion. I was like, you know what, let me build my catalog a little bit. Let me go back and look at previous kits, even before I was an Arsenal fan, you know? And uh, I have this kit that I, I picked up, um, and it's the Yellow Away kit. It's a Nike kit. It has JVC on the front, and, and it's so big and bold. And also, I don't gotta explain to anybody what JVC is, <laughs> uh, but uh, that if, you know, if I didn't know what was happening right then and there, 1998 is the year that I became a soccer fan, the year that I became an Arsenal fan, the year that I became unknowingly a kit collector. Yeah, 1998 is, is something that will go down in history. I think I'm probably, you know what, now we're talking about it, I'm gonna get a 1998 tattoo because uh, there's a lot of meaning there.